Why should we partition the data in Spark? In this video, let's understand why we need to partition the data in Spark by looking at an example. Then we will also see what is hash partitioning and range partitioning. Say an RDD called Department RDD with user ID, department name, pairs have the following 10 elements. Say another RDD called Salary RDD with user ID, salary, pairs also have 10 elements. Now we need to join these two RDDs using Spark's join operation to get all the three values, user ID, department name, and salary. As you know, by default, the data set is split based on the block size and the different blocks are stored in different nodes of the cluster. When the Spark's join operation happens, it has no way of knowing which node holds the key. So it ends up checking multiple nodes of the cluster, which increases network shuffling and thereby impacts the performance. Now, if we partition the data sets into three partitions by taking modulo three, then the records in the data set are equally split and stored into appropriate partitions in different nodes of the cluster. For example, if we partition the department RDD into three partitions by taking modulo of three on the key, user ID, then the user ID 101 will be put into 101% three, two, second partition. The user ID 102 will be put into 102% three, zero, zero partition. The user ID 103 will be put into 103% three, one, first partition, and so on. When join operation happens, it now knows which partition will hold value for which key. This reduces lots of unnecessary network shuffling and improves the performance. Hash partitioning. When we hash partition the key and then take modulo of the number of partitions, the process is called hash partitioning. This can be done by using partition by transformation on department RDD and passing the hash partition object to it as shown below. Range partitioning. When the keys are sorted and non-negative, we can partition the dataset based on the range called range partitioning. Here, keys belonging to a specific range will appear in a specific node. To conclude, this video shows how partitioning the dataset helps in improving the performance. It also explains that if we hash the key and take modulo on the number of partitions, it is called hash partitioning. If we partition it in such a way that the keys belong to a specific range, we will also appear in the same node. Then it is called range partitioning. In the next video, let's look at how to create partitions in RDD.